Welcome back everybody, Patrick here moving on to a word problem and this is going to be a word problem dealing with inequality. So a babysitter charges $19 for the first two hours plus $7 for each additional hour. If Jessica wants to spend no more than $40, how long can she leave her children with the sitter? Use an, uh, an inequality to solve this problem. So let's uh, show somewhat on a diagram what's going on. So for the first two hours, this babysitter charges $19, right? And for every additional hour after that, she's charging $7 per hour. So we can think of this 19 as sort of like a fixed cost for the first two hours then we have a variable cost of $7 per hour. And Jessica doesn't want to spend more than $40 with this babysitter. So what's this babysitter's charge going to be? So let's label that C. How can we make an equation for this? Well, she has a fixed cost of $19 for the first two hours, right? So you're going to have to spend that for sure. And then she is charging $7 per hour for every hour after two hours. So we can let X equal the number of hours after the two hour mark. Right, so X represents the number of hours after the two hour mark. So after the two hour mark, if you want an extra hour with the babysitter, which would bring your total up to three, we would plug in one for X, because it would be one hour after the two hour mark. That's what we're letting X represent. X doesn't represent the total amount of hours, which would be three in that example I just mentioned. It would just be one hour after the two hour mark. Right, so 19 plus 7x, where x represents the number of hours after the two hour mark. Well, Jessica doesn't want her charge to be more than $40. So she needs the charge to be less than or equal to 40. And that's how we can represent this situation in an equality. Right, so now uh, solving this inequality, bring the 19 over, so we'll have 7x is less than or equal to 21, right? 40 minus 19. Then isolating for x, we get 3. So x has to be less than or equal to 3, right? So she can only, Jessica can only leave her child with the babysitter three hours after that two hour mark. So one, two, three. So five hours in total or less in order for her charge to be less than 40. That makes sense, right? Because if she leaves the child with the babysitter for two hours, she gets charged $19. For three hours, it would be 26. For four hours, it would be 33. And then for five hours, it would be 40. And then if she wants to go above five hours, she's gonna start getting charged more, right? So for six hours, it would be 47. So X is less than or equal to three, where X is the number of hours after the two hour mark, or if you wanna talk about it in total, she has to leave her child with the babysitter for five hours or less.